Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. War in Aso Rock. Obasanjo warns Buhari and asks him to step down or he will expose him. Hey, <laughs> you know, they've been saying, they've been talking about this thing and it looks like it's a far mirage. It can never happen. Well, the person speaking is not an ordinary person. It's Olushegun Obasanjo himself, former president of Nigeria, saying, see, guy, if you don't come out eh, and, and if you don't step down, I'm going to expose you. I'm going to expose you. So the formula, the whole theory is about to be exploded. And if there is something Olushegun Obasanjo wants to explode, and uh, yeah, Professor Yemi Osibanjo has been quite, keeping quiet about, then shame on all of them in Aso Rock. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. War in Aso Rock. Olusha Gwabasanjo warns Buhari, ask him to step down or he will expose him. Hmm. Nigerian former president Olusha Gwabasanjo has seriously attacked Nigerian current president Muhammadu Buhari. The ex-president said Buhari has divided the nation with his poor understanding of dynamics of internal politics. The former president made his feeling about Buhari's administration known in a 13-page statement released weeks ago. In a statement titled The Way Out, a clarion call for collusion of Nigeria movements. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo pointed out major fallings of the Buhari's administration, particularly in the area of economic prosperity. He said the president has performed below the expectation of Nigerians and asked him to take a steep a back seat and help the nation from the side lines while someone else take over. Obasan just said, Obasan just said, President Buhari needs to define the honorable position and dismount from the horse. He needs to have time to reflect physically and recoup. I only appeal to Buhari to, Buhari to consider a de deserving rest at the point at this point in time and at his age. I continue to wish him robust health to enjoy his retirement from active public service. President Buhari does not necessarily need to heed to my advice, but whether or not he heeds to it, Nigeria needs to move on and move forward. Obasanjo also faulted the president for appealing to exhibit nepotism interest and further states that Buhari's administration is quack and, no, and knows, not, knows for not taking responsibility for issues. He stated that there are three areas where B President Buhari has come out more glaring than most of us, though we know what we know about him. One is nepotism, deployment, bordering, on, clean, on clamminess and inability to bring discipline to bear on, air, on airing members of the nepotic court. He, this has grave consequences on performance of governance. This has grave consequences on performance of the government to, determine, to the detriment of the nation. Obasanjo further revealed that in Buhari's government, it appears the nation interest was being sacrificed. Obasanjo reveals that in Buhari's government, it appeared that national interest was being sacrificed on the altar of nepotic interest. He thereby described Buhari's government as incompetent. He stated that the corruption case are buried, ignored, and covered up, and yet corruption gloom right in the face of the media and the public. He also stated that Buhari has performed poorly on the, on the has, and has poor understanding of dynamics of internal politics and that his ignorance on political matters is making the nation more divided and inadequate, has widened and become more pronounced. He further revealed that this act has an effect on the ground of national security. He further revealed that Buhari's intent on working to make the economy stable, he is blaming the governor of the central bank for deployment of the of 
devaluation of the Naira by 70% and also blaming past government for it. Boba Sanjo further revealed that Buhari is someone who is not willing to accept his own responsibility. According to his word, let nobody deceive you. Economic feeds on, on politics and because our politics is depressing, our economy is even more depressing today. If things were good, President Buhari would not need to come in and contest for the election. He was voted to fix things that were bad and not engage in the blame game. Obasanjo further revealed that there are no hope in APC and there is no hope in PDP. He further stated that the country needs a new and vibrant political party comparing the youths who will take the country to the promised land and the next level. Obasanjo also expresses lost hope in ability of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in providing Nigeria with the initiative it needs to progress. According to his words, I have had occasions in the past to say that the two main political parties, APD, APC and PDP, were mobbling. I must reiterate that nothing has happened to convince me otherwise. If anything i am refraining in my convenience if neither apc nor pdp is a worthy horse to ride to lead nigerians to the current critical time and what to do we need to perform now remember adequately the association of professor kosi states university in georgia state united states of america calls for critical in association with Professor Kunwi State University of Georgia, United States of America, calls a crucial Hobson choice. It's like a choice between half of six and half a dozen, between civil, between evil and evil. Any selection of of deflection would be determination of no difference at all. We cannot join to sit down, lamenting and wallowing our head depressingly, hopelessly. We need the youth to come out massively in 2023 choose a leader among themselves, match up to the polling stations and elect a vibrant youth, someone between 30 and 35 years old to, Niger to take Nigeria to the promised land. Obasan just slams Buhari and, the re and reveals that Nigeria is in an embarrassing state. Former national leader Olusegun Obasanjo has unleashed fresh volatile actions on the incumbent president of the of the, of the of President of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, over his poor performance in the handling of the country's affair. Daily Trust report that Obasanjo warns Nigeria is fast the is fast drifting towards a failed state under the administration of President Olusegun or President Muhammad Buhari. Olusegun Obasanjo has said it have it have made a clear claim during the search titled moving Nigeria from tipping over, which is delivering a which is the, which is a dilemma deliberation in Abuja, the federal capital territory. My dear, hmm, so there is a lot, a lot going on. Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. God bless you. Bye for now.